Hey everyone! Well, nothing says it's time to change seasons like the arrival of a new package of the latest Zoya nail polish collection. And in the last few weeks, I was lucky enough to get the Pixie Dust collection for fall, and the Cream collection for fall, and the Metallic Shimmer collection for fall. So I know these can get a little lengthy, especially with 18 nail polishes to show you. So if I talk fast and kind of just jump into it, um, I apologize. And of course, as always, the best resource for information on Zoya Nail Polish is their actual website. They take a lot of time describing the colors, um, showing swatches, opacity levels, all kinds of great stuff. So this is just my first impression of them and uh, I am not a nail polish expert. So here we go. So first the Pixie Dust collection because that's what I got first and I have been wearing one shade exclusively. I had it on my fingers and now it's on my toes and I just I cannot get enough of this shade. I thought Zoya Godiva was my favorite Pixie Dust. No. It is now Tomoko. This is Zoya Tomoko. It is a silvery champagne glitter. It's it's still a neutral, I think, but it's much more, it's much brighter, much bigger effect. And here it is swatched. And all the swatches are two coats, no top coat. So that's what she looks like. And I'm not going to bend myself into a pretzel to show you it on my toes, but it is stunning. And I just cannot say enough. Okay, next is Arabella. And Arabella is like, I would call this fuchsia magenta, and there's definite silver shimmer in it. And this is what it looks like. Remember, they're supposed to be matte, but with shimmer. I don't know how they pull it off, but it works, and there it is. And this is just, I love those jewel, jewel tones for fall, and they really came out with a bunch of great ones. So that is a gorgeous color. If you're into deep purples, this is beautiful. I just like looking at them lined up on a counter. I just, I think they're like art. This one is Carter. I don't know any girls named Carter, but maybe you guys do. It's sort of a bluey purple. It's coming up blue on my screen. Um, but it's really definitely a cool tone jewel royal purple, I'd say. And this is what it looks like swatched. Now I am not a color person normally on my fingers, but what I think are great about these pixie dusts, especially as we get into fall and it's football season, American football season coming up here in the States, these are great to show your spirit for teams, which is why I'm excited about the next two colors. This one is called Sunshine. Not sure why, there's no sun in this shine. Do you see the gorgeous swatch of silver running through that? Oh, beautiful. Well, my younger son's football team, one of their colors are blue and gold. Well. This, is, this navy blue is pretty much the color, and I will be wearing this at his games, and it looks like this. So there's, the silver just adds the shimmer part, but it really is just a beautiful blue. And then my older son's football team colors are hunter green and silver and black. Well, ta-da! Hunter green! In fact, it is, oh no, this one is named Cheetah. And you see the kind of a silvery, well, I almost see gold in there. But when you put it on, it's really just this gorgeous, oh god, do you see that? I, I mean, I can just sit here and look at them. Last color, I have no tea, if I was still at the University of Illinois, this would be a great color to wear. Their colors are these two, go Illini. Um, this is Dara, and it is just a bright, warm, well, I guess all orange is warm, but it's just a real true to me orange, great for Halloween, it's a pumpkin orange. And this is what it looks like swatched. But I live very far away from the University of Illinois, so I don't get to go to many of their games. Okay, I digress. On to the shimmers, which I personally have not tried on my fingers yet, but they are beautiful. And there's one in particular that I'm really excited about. And here they are all lined up. I'll just show you. This is what they look like when you buy the full set of um, creams or metallics or whatever, and you buy the whole, I didn't buy these, these were sent to me, but they look like this. Is, they call this a topper, and this is Maria Luisa, and she is a gorgeous warm gold, and when I first swatched this, it comes across, um, it's not very, very opaque, like you would use this for nail art or the, over the top of another color, but let me show you what happened after I did two swatches. It's not 100% two swatches, two coats. It's not 100% opaque, but it's pretty darn close. And I think three coats, you see that? Three coats and you would have a totally opaque 
color going on. So I, um, I'll show you what my plan is for this one. I'm very excited. This one is definitely going to get a lot of use. And then the next one, I read up on these. None of these say to be duochrome, but in the bottle especially, this one, Channing, is this almost like a rust, and then there's some gold shimmer in there. And this is what Channing looks like. This one here. Ignore the sounds that my ice maker is making. It's very odd. So that's beautiful. Very fall. I just, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm always excited about the next season. I enjoy summer somewhat, but when you live in Texas and it's as hot as it is, it's 102 today. Fall sounds really good right about now. This is Mason. And again, they're not described as duochrome, but I definitely see a couple of other colors going on in here. And I would call this like a... It corresponds more to this magenta pixie dust color. It's sort of in the magenta fuchsia family, I'd say. And looks like this. I can see this on like someone with olive tone skin. These colors are just gonna look beautiful. If you still have your summer tan going, I think these would look great. The next one is this beautiful emerald green. Just gorgeous jewel tone color. And this one is Giovanna. I love these names. And Giovanna swatches to this. It's very pretty. But the two I'm very excited about. This is Neve or Nev. N-E-V-E. -E. Nev? Neve? I don't know. You all will tell me. Thank you. It's a deep navy shimmer. Very slight shimmer. Metallic. I'd say metallic. Not so much shimmer. And um, look at this painted on. Isn't that gorgeous? This again. I could have like a whole... Well, you'll see. I keep saying you'll see. What I've noticed, it's taken me a couple collections to figure out, but Zoe releases a pixie dust, a metallic shimmer, and a cream. So six of each, and the, all the colors line up, pretty much. So there's gonna be a pixie dust green, there's gonna be almost the same color and a shimmer, and yes, there will be a cream that I will show you shortly. So I'm just thinking of like all the fun things that I could do and stay in the same color family, like have the pixie dust on one finger and the metallic on the next, and then the cream on the next, and then I'm not sure what I'd do with these, but we'll think, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so that is, no, my favorite. My favorite one, I cannot wait. This will be on my fingers a lot. This one very much reminds me of a dupe for Chanel, I believe it was called Black Pearl, and this is Claudine. Claudine is like a dark gray with some shimmer running through it. And look at this. It's like, it reminds me of, I don't know what it, it's just beautiful. It's this beautiful metallic gray. I love deep dark grays and blacks on my fingers, and because this isn't a cream, it gives it a little more dimension. It's maybe not as scary on your fingers if that's something you wanna try for the fall going a little darker. I think this one is a good jump into that. Next, my favorite category, creams. I, I love cream. I love cream nail polish. I will not apologize for it. That is my favorite texture. So, I can't pick favorite with this bunch. I love every single one of these creams just mm, can't wait to start polishing my nails. The only complaint I have, and it's not really a complaint, I'm being facetious, is that the Zoya nail polishes last so long on my nails that I can't wait for them to just chip. I have to keep changing my nail polish because I wanna try all these colors. And there's just not enough days in the year to wear all the colors that I have. I'm really excited about this one. I don't wanna say it's my favorite, but it's one of the more unique colors I've seen. This one is Flynn and it is a true camel colored nude polish. By nude, I mean neutral. It's not nude, it's fully opaque. This is what it looks like with two coats and no, look at that, the, no top coat. Look at that shine. Anyway, I think this is gonna look really cool. I just, I love it. It's like wearing a camel hair top coat. I just, it's gonna go with everything. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Next one I'm really excited about, I'm just gonna keep saying that, I'm sorry. Did I say what it was called? Flynn, okay. Is Louise, Louise is chocolate brown. I love a chocolate brown nail polish. Why are there not more of these? I guess you don't need more of them if you have Louise. And um, it's just a rich, I think very wearable brown. And it looks, actually it comes out pretty dark. Looks like that. I'll put it on my finger. Is that her? That's her. See? On camera it's looking pretty dark, but it's definitely a brown. I can't wait. I love it. 
And then, this is the one I'm really excited about because like I said, my, son, my, high, my son's high school football team, one of the colors is Hunter Green and it's this called Hunter. Focus, there we go. And it's a cream green. And I love green nail polish. And here it is swatched. And here it is on my finger, like that. See the green? It's coming up. And for my other son, here comes the navy. This one is called Sailor. Haha, -ha, get it? Here comes the navy. And it's this beautiful blue. It's just, ugh, I love it. I've seen um, a color similar to this at the pool when I was on vacation in Florida, and I just think this color looks beautiful on toes. It's, um, I, to me, I feel it's a neutral, and I just feel like it's a flattering color, and um, I couldn't pick. Today I put Tomoko on my nails, on my finger, toenails, which is this, but I'm pretty sure this is going on next. So, this is what Sailor looks like. It's really deep, um, but you can see the blue. And then the last two, um, are out of my comfort zone, but I'm actually excited to be wearing them. This one is Pepper, kind of like a paprika shade, and I don't know, but it's called Pepper. It reminds me of that oxblood trend that was very big last year, kind of carrying over to this year. And when you swatch it, you'll see why I think it looks more of an oxblood to me when you put a couple coats on. And then the last one, y'all know how I feel about red. Well, I may have to revise that because I really love this color. I think it's beautiful. It's called Livingston. Livingston? It's a red. It's a warm red. I wouldn't call this a blue red, but I could be totally wrong. It, to me, it feels like a true red in person. And um, I just think it's a really flattering shade of red. It's not an in-your-face red. So those are all 18 of the Zoya colors for fall. Um, I'm really excited. They, I say this probably every season, but they hit it out of the park with this one. I think this is mm, the most wearable uh, collection I've seen in a couple of seasons. I will honestly wear every single one of these colors. I think I could see anybody trying these out. If you're a little concerned about your work environment, they'll look good on your toes and no one needs to see that. So um, please share with me which ones you think you wanna go pick up and I will link um, I'll put a link to the Zoya website where you can order them. They are not affiliate links. Knock yourselves out. You can order them on Zoya. Um, I've seen them at Ulta. They're pretty good about having the collection released there every season. And um, please, 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 I get this question in every video. So please, I cannot stress enough. If you do not live in the United States, you can still buy Zoya in almost every country. So go onto the Zoya.com website. There is a, a salon locator or store locator there and um, enter your country and you can find a place to order them in a lot of countries. Also just contact Zoya directly. There's a customer service thing. They can try and hook you up. Um, I cannot stress enough not only that I love this nail polish and I continue to buy it more of them on my own that don't get sent to me. I do spend my own money on Zoya, but the company itself, all the people I've had in, been in contact with there are just really nice, genuine people. And so I'm happy to uh, support a brand that is just an all around good company. They're nice people. So uh, looking forward to hearing from you, comments, suggestions, questions, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. What are you doing to my dog? He's in the closet. He's eating my shoe. Get him off your shoe. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Wrigley! Hey! Do you hear that? Wrigley does not want to give up the shoe. <gasps> this is what happens when you leave the closet door open. I did not. Wrigley! We don't eat. Is the shoe. Did the shoe survive? It was a cleat. It was a cleat. He was eating it. Unbelievable. Okay. He was attached to it.